Yo, what up everyone, it's RanchRTube, and first of all, this video here is sponsored by Nintendo of Canada, guys. So they offered to take me out to an expo a few weeks ago to talk about Pokemon and give me a demo of the Pokeball Plus, which is the new controller, and it's gonna work for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So they gave me a demo, I got to sit down with a Nintendo representative, they had a bunch of Pokeball Plus products lined up each with different pokemon in them and we got to mess around with them as well as talk about the pokeball plus and the future of pokemon a bit and they asked me to make a video on the pokeball plus talking about it telling you guys my first impressions and what i think about it and i'll tell you guys like a couple things that we didn't know before some minor things that he talked about i'll show the footage in the background as i speak but first off you guys know the pokeball plus is a controller for the nintendo switch where's the other one let me hear that click Okay, so it's meant to be purchased with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And the whole point is that it's actually a controller. Now, this is what's interesting to me about it, before it even is a controller. If you guys remember the Pokewalker from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that was almost 8-9 years ago in 2010 when the games came out. What that did is, it pretty much let you transfer a Pokemon to the Pokewalker. It had three buns, you couldn't do much. But you could take your Pokemon out for a walk and it would gain like happiness and slowly level up and such, and then you could put it back into your games. And it was kind of cool because you could just transfer a Pokemon and have it with you personally while you're away from your game. What they're really trying to do back there is what the Pokeball Plus is. You can transfer a Pokemon to it, and what the representative told me is that your Pokemon will actually level up as you walk around with it. It's cool because it's got a little light. And remember I said that they had a few of them lined up? When you picked up each of those Pokeballs and you pushed the button, they would actually each have a different light. And the reason is because they actually all had different Pokemon in them. And the light would change depending on which Pokemon it was. And you can just shake it and bring it up to your ear. And you'll actually hear the cry of the Pokemon itself. So that's the first thing. It was pretty cool to see that it was like the real deal of what the Pokewalker was trying to do. The second thing is for Pokemon Go. You guys know the Pokemon Go Plus. It was actually pretty popular. Everyone who used it said that it was worth it. And pretty much you could walk around with it and have it on Bluetooth connected to your Pokemon Go account. And you could go on walks, spin Pokestops as well as hatch your eggs and even catch Pokemon without going to your screen by just pushing the button in the middle and people really implemented it into their routine with Pokemon Go and that's the second thing this thing does because this thing literally has the Pokemon Go Plus built into it you can connect it to your Pokemon Go account via Bluetooth at the same time as having your own Pokemon in it go on walks and have it hatch your eggs so just those two things itself made it actually a, a pretty cool product but then there's the third thing, which is that it's a it's a controller for your Nintendo Switch. If you compare a Nintendo Joy-Con to the Pokeball Plus, the Pokeball Plus is obviously the, the cooler controller, the better feeling controller. It has like a cool weight to it. It doesn't feel plasticky and it's actually pretty small, so it just fits in your hand. And it's a lot more fun to use than a Joy-Con. I actually played with the Pokeball Plus back at E3 when I played the demo and it was so much more smoother to catch Pokemon and such, which is one of the main things that you're gonna be doing. Essentially how it works is you've got the strap connected to the Pokeball Plus as well as this little ring that goes around your ring finger and that makes sure that you're always holding the Pokeball Plus in the right position. And he said that a big portion of the game is really being able to catch Pokemon. He said in the beginning, the Pidgeys and stuff, they're easy. You just gotta aim in the middle, but later on the Pokemon will run around. You can only imagine how it'd be for the legendaries as well as Mewtwo. The Nintendo rep was saying that with his time using the Pokeball Plus, it feels so personal that he imagined that if he was a kid and friends came over, he would have the joy cons for them while he kept the Pokeball Plus to himself just because it's so nice and personal. It's like their controller. So if you look at a Pokeball Plus, it only has the analog as well as a button that's hidden in the top. What we knew so far was that you could push the analog button and it would activate the A button and you could push the hidden button and that would be your B button. So you have your running motion as well as A and B, which is all you need to play a Pokemon game. You don't need L and R. And so this is really like a controller for Pokemon games. But I was kind of confused, so I asked them because, and maybe you guys were confused about this as well, but they never actually talked about this in any of the trailers. You can play Pokemon with A, B, and moving around, but what about stuff like opening the menu, which is pretty important to be able to do? And he said that there's actually a lot more triggers in the Pokeball Plus, and we got a chance to mess around with it. So you can push the A button, you can double push it, you can hold it, you can shake the controller, you can hold it while shaking, and they all activate different triggers. So he was saying that probably you just hold the B button and it'll open up the menu. So that was really nice to hear because now we know that it's a full-fledged controller for Pokemon. But yeah, that's really my first impressions of it. It's just really personal how you can have the controller in your hand, 
you can play your game at home and then when you shut off your switch and you go outside you still take the pokeball plus with you and when you go outside you're also not only walking your pokemon but you're also leveling up your pokemon go profile so it's like something you can almost always have with you despite it being a nintendo switch controller it's like something you just have in your bag or purse or in your pocket with you at all times instead of just being a controller you leave at home which makes it pretty personal and cool and especially if you're into pokemon go or just taking a pokemon from your games out on walks with you i like that it's a bonus product that you don't need to play these new games but if you're a pokemon fan and you buy it you'll find it's worth it so that's my impressions of it the games in the product come out november 16 2018 we are looking forward to it again thank you to nintendo for sponsoring this video as well as taking me out there to have a little fun talking about pokemon doing the smash tournament as well as talking about the pokeball plus and get a bunch of questions answered it was a lot of fun nintendo thanks for hitting me up but also thank you guys for watching this and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace